Hi, my name's Chris Hughes. Um, we're here at Silverstone. I've just been out in the uh, KTM Expo GT. Um, amazing car, uh, fantastic experience. Uh, way quicker than I thought it was going to be. Way quicker than you think that a car with a two litre turbocharged uh, VW engine could ever be. Out there with cars costing two, three, four times the price of the, the, the KTM, but just had a really, really great time. I can't recommend it enough. Um, and really blown away by the whole experience. Um, Dark Side have been brilliant and uh, helped us out with, uh, with you know, instructions on the car and um, my racing line and when to brake and what gear to be in and just a really, really great experience. Um, really feels like a really old family atmosphere. So I think uh, I'm going to try and see if I can become part of it. And some, that, would, that, would be, that would be the dream is to try and get one of the cars myself. But um, huge thanks to the guys from Darkside and KTM UK. Um, seriously blown away by the car. You should really, really try one. Get out and try one. Hi, my name's James. Uh, I've just driven the Expo. Um, absolutely fantastic car. Uh, we've just taken it around the Silverstone track. Uh, Ryan and Scott took it out first, just to give it a, a quick warm up. Uh, absolutely flew, we were keeping up with the 911 GT3 RS. Uh, there were some exiges that were also on side, so it was, uh, it was a really good day. Uh, when I first saw the car, I was expecting it to be quite quick on the track. Obviously, it's got low centre of gravity, good tyres. Uh, when we are in it, it far exceeded expectations. Um, like I say, we're keeping up to 911 GT3 RSs, um, so which is pinnacle of driving, so really, really good time. Uh, love the car, fantastic. Experiencing the KTM crossbow at Silverstone was always going to be a bit special a track with so much history and also a, a track that's so challenging is such a great example for the car to show itself and yeah it's, it is an incredible machine I've driven a lot of other lightweight sports cars names shall not be named um, but the crossbow seems incredibly serious everything from the level of grip the precision of the steering the lack of turbo lag actually from that 2 litre turbocharged engine was something that really impressed. But I suppose the overarching thing is it, its seriousness, its lack of weight, gives it such a distinct advantage over road cars that have had to be adapted for the track. And, and this car that is effectively a bit of a racer with number plates um, just shows up cars that are four, five, six times as expensive. Imagine that in the dry. Oh my God. 
wow! Oh, machine! That is absolutely breathtaking. Wowzers! <laughs> Take me breath away! Yes. Yeah, mate, so the KTM was amazing. Going out in that car was so cool. The, the grip is just incredible going around the corners. And when you put your foot down, you get like, thrown back in your chair. And it's, it's an amazing experience. And I was very happy to be able to do it in uh, Silverstone here. So yeah, thank you very much for having me. Amazing experience. Not what I expected. Uh, felt really like we were one of the big boys out there. I was imagining Lewis Hamilton. In fact, that was absolutely what kept going, coming into my mind as I was going around. I kept thinking, this is what Formula One racing drivers feel like. Uh, but I'm very glad for today I went as a passenger. I actually think my experience was better for, for being a passenger. I think I got a better driving experience. So I think Ryan did a brilliant job on the track with me and I felt we were going as fast as we could and he couldn't have gone any faster. So uh, no, all up, definitely worth doing and I'll definitely come again.